you should know that the limit of sine theta over theta as theta approaches zero is one. This is a famous trig limit that we use a lot. Link in the description to my lesson proving this fact. There are many other limits that look similar that once we know this one, we can also figure out. One example is the limit of sine of 3x over x as x approaches zero. The idea with this sort of limit is that we want it to look like this, because if it looks like sine of a thing over a thing with the thing approaching zero, well, we know what that limit equals. So we want this to look like this. Now, what that really means is that we want the input of sine to match the denominator, just like it does in this well-known limit. Now, there's not really a way that we're going to be able to go in and change what's inside of the sine function. So the only option is to change the denominator. Thankfully, that's pretty easy to do. Again, right now, the goal is to get the denominator to match what's inside the sine function. Certainly, we could multiply this limit by 3 over 3, since 3 over 3 is just 1. It's like multiplying by 3 and multiplying by 1 third. However, we could take either of those factors and bring them inside the limit. Multiplying a limit by a constant on the inside or outside is the same thing. So, let's bring the factor of 1 third into the limit, and we'll leave the factor of 3 outside of it. Bringing the factor of 1 third in the limit looks like that, a 3 in the denominator. Again, we haven't changed the limit at all, we just multiplied by 3 and divided by 3. But now we can start to think about our well-known limit, because we've got sine of 3x over 3x, and although we have x approaching 0, that's the same as 3x approaching 0. And thus, what we have is the limit of sine of a thing over a thing as that thing approaches 0. That thing happens to be 3x, but this is precisely the limit that we know is equal to 1, right? It's sine of a thing over the thing as the thing approaches 0. So this part here must be 1. And of course, we still have the factor of 3 out front, and so we see the answer is 3 times this limit, which is 1, and so the final answer is 3. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. I'll leave links in the description to some similar problems if you want more practice, as well as my Calculus 1 course and Calculus 1 exercises playlists. Thanks for watching.